like, and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. Got an idea? A lab? A group of decent scientists and a government that's willing to spend billions? Guess what? It's time to make terrifying experiments that will most likely end the world. Welcome to X-List, where we talk about the most shocking things in the world. Make sure you watch till the end. Tsunami Bomb New Zealand New Zealand experimented with the use of bombs to make artificial tsunamis between 1944 and 1945. The military experts behind New Zealand's Project SEAL believe that by carefully putting explosives, they might channel explosive energy via water, generating tsunamis and tidal waves. New Zealand stopped experimenting after thousands of test explosions because military experts couldn't get the explosive energy to flow in a horizontal direction. If the tsunami bomb trials in New Zealand had been successful, tsunamis may have become commonplace, allowing anyone with a conventional explosive device to easily cause widespread chaos and death. Jesus, how crazy can you get? Kola Super Deep Hole, Russia The Russian project planned to drill a hole as deep as possible into the Earth's crust, reaching a depth of almost 40,000 feet. It is still the world's deepest artificial point, according to analysis who believe that if the hot magma hadn't halted the digging to the point where it was impossible to continue, the resulting hole may have caused tectonic movements due to the unnatural pressure release in the atmosphere. The hole is so deep that no camera has ever recorded how deep it is, so the videos you see online about a certain deepest hole in the world are likely false. Starfish Prime, US The United States detonated a thermonuclear weapon 250 miles above Earth, 31 kilometers from Jonestown Island, a nuclear test site used by the United States from 1958 to 1975, with a yield of 1.4 megatons of explosives. The explosion released an electromagnetic pulse significantly bigger than expected, knocking out hundreds of streetlights across Hawaii, as well as communication equipment and rendering a third of all low-orbit satellites inoperable. Despite this, the tests were carried out, and the unusual high levels of radiation may have disrupted the currents that keep the Earth habitable. The dangers of letting risky scientific pursuits are absolutely horrible. Project Mercury and Volcano, Russia In Project Mercury and Project Volcano, the Russian military exploded nuclear weapons underground between 1987 and 1992 with the intention of disrupting tectonic plates and electromagnetic fields as a weapon. Reminds me their experiment in making the deepest hole on Earth almost led to catastrophic earthquakes. The experiments might come off as a low-budget action film, but it actually happened four times before the 1978 convention on the prohibition of military or other hostile use of environmental modification techniques outlawed them. Extended tectonic plate dislocation could result in a succession of large earthquakes and destabilization electromagnetic fields, poising a number of theoretical and unforeseeable problems. The Earth will literally be a deadly place once our electromagnetic field destabilizes. Genetically engineered oil-eating superbugs Anata Chakrabarty, a General Electric R&D scientist, allowed the bacteria Pseudodomas putida to digest petroleum in the mid-1970s. Chakrabarty created the bacteria in the hopes of one day being able to use it to clean up oil spills. However, many people were concerned that these genetically modified bacteria would go rogue, consuming anything in their path and outcompete other bacteria and organisms for existence on the planet. The bacterial domination idea is a green forerunner for the gray goo theory, and it's a better bet. The Trinity Nuclear Test Scientists working on the Manhattan Project argued what would happen after the first nuclear weapon was detonated the days leading up to it, with some assuming that the bomb might not explode at all. Enrico Fermi, on the other hand, suggested that the bomb's detonation may start off a chain reaction that would ignite the Earth's atmosphere and kill practically all life on the planet. It's disconcerting to think that the scientists might move forward based on the musings of a Nobel laureate, but thank heavens Fermi was wrong. Weaponizing the Plague The plague was responsible for killing up to 60% of Europe's population in the 14th century. In the late 1980s, the Soviet All-Union Institute of Ultra-Pure Biological Preparation succeeded in weaponizing it. Program director Vladimir Pechesnik made public the research after the fall of the Berlin Wall, which included military preparations to load weapons with a time-release variant of the Black Death. The Soviet initiative contained a powdered version of the bacterial pathogen Yersinia pestis in a polymer capsule to combat the plague. Large Hadron Collider Up next is a European laboratory for nuclear research near Geneva, Switzerland, built the massive particle accelerator to smash beams of protons, moving at nearly the speed of light. After a four-decade hunt, scientists announced the discovery of the Higgs boson on July 4, 2012. 
a victory of modern technology and advanced particle physics. The collisions have the potential to create small black holes, which has raised concerns that such objects could grow out of control engulfing the world whole. Extensive calculations revealed that this was practically impossible the little black holes would vanish in fractions of a second. Furthermore, when cosmic rays, particles flying through space, collide with nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the upper atmosphere, collisions of even higher energy occur often. We should be safe from the LHC experiments if we have survived for more than 4 billion years. Worldwide Famine Caused by Fungus And last but not least, the deadly scientific experiments is the strange fungus experimentation. Wheat and rice blasts inflict massive crop devastation over the world, yet they're uncommon in first world countries. Magnaporthy grisea is a fungus that causes lesions on individual plants that can release thousands of spores and infect a large region in a single night. The fungus has spread to more than 80 nations and was first discovered in the United States in 1996. During the Cold War, the United States experimented with a weaponized version of Magnaporthy grisea that could be distributed by spray or explosives. Nobody knows if the United States utilized the weapon version on purpose, but if these contagious agricultural illness spread unchecked, two of the world's most important crops would be destroyed, producing a global famine. This is where we'll end the video. Did you enjoy watching, or did we miss anything? Then leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Share this to your friends and family. Have a good one.